footballers. So they're only writing for the players who are playing the game. There are 100,000 people who didn't play, who go to watch, who want to hear us talk about yeah. the I, way they talk about so it. So you're representing the bloke in the outer. Well, yes. I'd, I'd guess that that's, that's where our support comes from. Regular panellist, Coburg coach Phil Cleary also loves the could have been's eclectic approach to footy. I reckon they're generally funny and I think they're very, they've been very innovative in football humour. I think they've approached it in a different way from people in the past, the traditional humorists like the Richards and Dyers of the world, but uh, they haven't been very happy with some of the directions in football. But generally their concern is to laugh about the game and to look at it from the outer. I mean, they enjoy the outer. The guys actually like to go to the football and stand in the outer. That's where they see football belonging. In true could have been style, enjoyment of the game aimed at the man in the outer is what their Brownlow medal night is all about. Down the local, not a tux in sight, and 50 odd could have been fans. Even the fans are an odd mix, from kids to octogenarians, to other football commentators, like the ABC's Kevin Skeeter Coglin. I think it's a fantastic concept. The world is full of the could have been, and we love to think that uh, would, we would like to take the mark that Jeselenko took against uh, Jerka Jenkins in, in about 1972. Everybody would love to have been the, the bloke that could have taken that mark and could have been there. Well, they're funny and they're not like other football shows that are just sort of boring and I can get a laugh out of them and I like to enter their competitions. <laughs> The Could Have Been's Brownlow Medal Night is what football is all about. Fans enjoying themselves. United in the love of the game, they've attracted all the footy splinter groups. And these are the sort of people that ride into you. Yeah. What, else, what else do you get? Well, from other groups, mm. oh, there's been the, uh, the commenced nuclear testing at the Western Oval faction. <laughs> The Let Doug Got Play His 100th Game uh, pressure group. There's even one for a Sydney doctor, isn't there? There is. There's the Why Don't They Ever Show Shots of Edelston and His Tizzy Wife When the Swans Are Losing Tactical Response Group. <laughs> different factions, different teams, but a common interest. The love of the game. Dippy Domenico winning the Brownlow is an embodiment of the could have been. Coming from behind with a sense of humour, a love of the game and winning. You haven't seen anything yet. The Coulda Beans will host the 10 or 7 football marathon on Friday night, starting at 11.15, 11 going through to 8am. It's a brand new concept.